Hey guys, Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, we're going to be kicking off our RCBS Pro Checker 7 content. Now, I've been having fun with the series I've been working on so far with the Pro Checker 5. Now, we're going to add the 7 station equivalent built on the same frame to this content series. To kick things off, we're going to do an unboxing on the Pro Checker 7. We're going to do an unboxing on one of the Pro Checker 7 die plates, which is essentially a caliber changeover kit. comes with a powder measure. Then we're going to take a look at the presses side by side, the Pro Checker 5 and the Pro Checker 7. A little bit of a spoiler alert, they're almost twins. After this video, we're going to get set up and do some full progressive loading. We'll do lots of comparisons. We're going to do different cartridges. We're going to do caliber changeovers. So let's get started with the unboxing. All right, let's start with the press. Here we go. Gotta love that. Okay, so it looks like we've got some sort of accessories box here. Ooh, now that is a mega sized powder measure. Look at that. That's great. I'm going to really uh, enjoy that increased capacity when it comes to loading rifle. Okay, so we've got the press handle, all of our tubes, the primer drop tubes, the primer pickup tubes. We've got the uh, blast shield here, and this is the, uh, the spent primer tube. Okay, so that's our first accessory box. Set that aside. Okay, now we've got a bin of accessories here. The uh, completed cartridge bin holder. Okay, oh, a drum. Now for this press there is only one drum because it uses a special metering insert. Uh, dual meeting inserts, one for pistol, one for rifle. We've got primer shoot. Primer. That is the spent cartridge shoot. Mounting hardware. Uh, priming parts, the primer punches, the primer tube base. Okay, so that's going to be our completed cartridge bin there. We've got the tool head, so three, six, seven. Wow. That is going to make for some mega die station utilization. We'll have lots of great options with that. Got uh, an owner's manual here. Okay. And got the actual press frame itself. This stuff is packed nicely. Okay. Alrighty, look at that shiny new press frame. That's awesome. A couple more things in the box. All right, we've got uh, primer drop tube parts, extensions, other powder measure stuff there. We've got our rifle metering insert, our pistol metering insert. More drop tube stuff. The uh, primer drum lock for the metering insert. And another pin for these uh, priming tubes. Okay. So that is the press. Now let's uh, unbox the uh, die plate with quick change. All right, so here's the die plate with quick change. That's what this kit is called. Look at that. Another powder measure with a giant hopper. Love it. Got the uh, seven station die head itself. What else do we have here? We have the drum for the powder measure. Got uh, powder measure drop tube parts. We're gonna have everything we he need here to do a quick, a quick changeover, which is great. The lock for the metering insert. We've got a rifle metering insert. 
We've got the pistol metering insert here and more drop tube parts. So there we have it. This is going to be everything we're going to need to have dedicated powder measure, to have dedicated die setups. That's going to be awesome. So I've unwrapped everything. We've got the press kit, which is basically all of this, and then this is the die plate with quick change, which, as you can see, duplicates a lot of the parts that come with the press. Okay, let's take each section here and break down what all is included. Okay, so let's break down what comes with the die plate and quick change kit, and then also the corresponding parts that come with the press itself. Of course, you get all that when you buy the Pro Checker 7. So we've got the powder measure with the large hopper. It's case activated. We've got the drum. We've got the drop tubes, the different components that you can use to drop powder for pistol and for rifle with long cartridges and short cartridges. There's some spacers here that essentially enable you to load larger cartridges when you take them out because the case is longer. We've got the, the uh, the rifle metering insert and the pistol metering insert. This is the new design where they use the, the same diameter bore in the drum itself, which is great. That means you can basically just change the metering insert to switch from pistol to rifle and vice versa. We've got the, uh, the bracket and the mounting screws for the case activation portion. We've also got the seven station tool head uh, which also comes with the die plate and, and quick change kit. This, this is what they would refer to as the die plate. I call it a tool head. Uh, it can really be the thing. And here we have the press body itself. It's CNC machined on the appropriate uh, surfaces. The press body itself is aluminum. It has Zerk fittings. And it's really stoutly made. This uh, has the, the seven station subplate, and this is basically the same componentry between the Pro Trucker 5 and the Pro Trucker 7. The big difference being the subplate, which has seven stations and the corresponding indexing, and then the tool heads, uh, of course. The die plates, as RCBS calls those, have seven stations as well. So once you swap out the appropriate parts, priming parts are slightly different. The slide is a little bit shorter. But basically, it's, it's the same core press. It's just configurable for five stations or for seven stations. And this is kind of the everything else. We've got the completed cartridge bin. We've got the owner's manual. We've got the, the handle, all of the priming tubes. You've got pickup tubes for large and small primers. You've got drop tubes for small and large primers. You've got the spent primer drop tube. You've got the shield. This protects you in the case, very unlikely case of an, of an explosion. It goes around the, the primer uh, drop tube. Then we've got a bunch of other parts here. We've got two small primer slides. We've got two large primer slides. We've got the primer actuation bar, mounting hardware, completed cartridge bin, bracket, that's what the, the bin is going to hang off of, completed cartridge chute, we've got the indexing uh, ball bearing and spring that goes under the uh, shell plate itself, we've got the small and large primer punches, we've got the primer drop tube base, the primer slide spring, the shell plate washer, basically this is all we're going to need to put the press together. So here's what we need to do to mount the press. We're going to Put the press on the bench. Now, in this case, I've got the, the ultimate reloader moving plate system here. I've also got the RCBS accessory base plate three here, which has the appropriate holes. We're gonna start by putting the rear bolt in. We're gonna cut our zip tie, remove the ram lock, which is used to keep the press from cycling and transport. We're gonna lift the ram after installing the lever, and then we'll have access to all of the front bolt holes. So let's go ahead and do that. Next, we install the primer components.
Okay, our priming system is now assembled. To complete the assembly, there's a few things yet. I installed the die plate. I assembled the powder measure. I'll cover the details of that in an upcoming video that'll go deep dive on the RCBS Uniflow for the Pro Checker 5 and the Pro Checker 7. Big difference is just the size of the hopper. I installed the completed cartridge chute. We've got the completed cartridge bin here. We've got the bin rack there, the actual bracket. Uh, we also installed the spent primer drop tube. It's just a set screw that goes there. So that's the basics of assembling the press. Probably after you've got it mounted to your bench, it's gonna take you about a half an hour because you're gonna be reading the instructions the first time. For me, probably about 10 to 15 minutes because I'm familiar with the process having set up the Pro Checker 5. So let's take a look at these presses side by side. As you can see, the Pro Checker 7 on the left and the Pro Checker 5 on the right look very similar. The biggest visual difference offhand is the size of the hopper on the RCBS Uniflow powder measure. Now I've got my Pro Checker 5 here set up to load 223 from the last video that I did, and the Pro Checker 7 here isn't yet set up. So they'll look even more similar when we get to that point. But these presses are built on the same frame and therefore share most of the same characteristics. Another big difference, of course, is the number of stations. We've got seven over here on the Pro Checker 7, and we've got five over here on the Pro Checker 5. Same, of course, with the shell plate. I don't have a shell plate installed on the Pro Checker 7 yet, but we will get to that shortly. Well, now you know everything to expect if you buy a Pro Checker 7 or Pro Checker 5. You'll see a little bit of a difference in my unboxing and setup video, so if you haven't watched the Pro Checker 5 unboxing and setup video, you might want to do that. If you like the videos that I do, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up. And we are just getting started with the Pro Checker 7. We've got more Pro Checker 5 content coming, so you're going to want to stick around. We'll see you guys later.